In this video, we are going to look at the custom functions. We already explained what the base functions are in another video. But to recap, a function allows the timer to control the output based on the input signals with some predefined logic. This logic is what we call a function. For instance, the push of a button should activate the timer and power the LED for 10 minutes and then automatically shut it off. The timer comes with a set of predefined functions, they are called base functions. Those are commonly used, generic functions. There are situations where the base functions do not meet your requirements. You can request for a custom function to be created. Here are the steps for custom function development. Submit a request to create a custom function via email. Describe the requirements to the best of your ability and provide a real-life example. The custom functionality has to describe the new logic and not the changes to the hardware. The request to increase the voltage range or accept alternating current is out of the scope of the custom function development. The timer has two input triggers and a positive output, so describe how the output would be controlled based on the trigger inputs or the supply voltage. Please draw the diagram of the power supply, trigger inputs, and output to describe the required logic. The base functions in the manual contain a diagram and a corresponding description of the signal to be used with WaveDrum website. We have a video on how to use the web-based signal diagram editor. Please draw the diagram of the functionality and paste it along with your request. Once the request is submitted we will review the request and follow up to clarify the requirements. When the requirements are understood, we will build the custom function and post it on our website. The custom function then can be downloaded and loaded into the timer. The timer can store only a single function. To change the function, use the programmer to upload a new function to the timer. The function program is saved into the flash memory and retained when power is removed from the timer. All functions are stored in the programmer's memory and uploaded to the timer during the programming. To load the custom function, download the function file from the website. Connect the programmer to the timer, select menu load function, and upload the file to the programmer. Then use the select function menu, pick the custom function from the drop-down menu, and it will be loaded into the timer. After the function is loaded, you can go and edit the timer's configuration such as timing and trigger settings. In some cases, you will need to update the programmer to edit the custom function configuration. Please read the instructions supplied with the custom function. All custom functions will be posted for public use on our website. If you don't want the function to be publicly available, please let us know before we start the development. There is a fee to build the custom functions. Not all the imagined functionality can be coded and we might not be able to produce all requested functions. We will let you know what we can and cannot do during the requirement gathering phase. Let's take a look at the example. Click on the timer, scroll down and find a link to the custom functions page. This function is based on function 14. The second trigger is used to cancel the function. Download the function files. Now connect to the programmer and upload the files. Click on Select Function, select File from the drop-down list, and load the function into the timer. Once the function is loaded, go to the configuration and edit the timing and trigger settings. For a more detailed dive into the timer's functions, trigger use, programming, and common application, 
please click on the links provided in the description of this video. As always, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified of new videos and news.